Welcome to the final video of the Mastering Project Report Writing for NGOs series by Funds for NGOs. Today, we'll guide you through how NGOs can develop effective meeting minutes and write comprehensive project completion reports. Let's get started. How NGOs can develop meeting minutes. Meeting minutes are the authentic records of meetings held during the implementation period. Before we proceed, it's important to understand that minutes are the records of actions taken, not a transcript of everything said in the meeting. Here's how to write effective meeting minutes. Proper recording of the meeting is essential. Arrive early and choose a seat near the facilitator. You may use a recording device with permission. Obtain a copy of the agenda in advance. The agenda outlines key points of discussion. You can prepare sections for each agenda item to record discussions accordingly. Edit the minutes soon after the meeting. Doing this while the discussions are still fresh in your memory ensures accuracy. Document key information. Start by writing the date, time, location, and attendees. Then, list the key points of discussion, important decisions made, and responsibilities assigned. Include a follow-up section. Specify the tasks who is responsible and deadlines in this section. Stick to the facts. Avoid figurative language and keep your judgments or opinions out of the minutes. Use bullet points. Bullet points help keep the minutes clear and concise. How NGOs can write project completion reports. A project completion report is a formal document that signifies the closure of a project. Whether or not your supporting agency requires it, you should always prepare this report as it serves as an important learning document for your organization. Here's how to create one. Create the title page. Include the project title, start and end dates, and the names of both the supporting and implementing agencies. Add a table of contents. This helps readers easily navigate the report. Provide an overview of the project. Start with a summary statement that the project is complete. Then describe the project in the context of the problems it aimed to address. Include the project goals, objectives, and intervention area. Describe the results and outcomes. Clearly outline the achievements and impacts of the project. Include project highlights. Add a section to describe the most important aspects of the project. Detail the issues and challenges. Create a risk summary explaining any difficulties or obstacles encountered during the project. Share lessons learned. Discuss what worked, what didn't, and how future projects can benefit from your experience. Include best practices. You may also provide an appendix listing the best practices observed during the project. By following these steps, you can create a thorough and professional project completion report. Remember, there's always room for creativity and innovation in your reports. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Visit fundsforngos.org for more details.